Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies. Today taking on Bolton, the Bolton Wanderers. Uh, they're wandering about uh, the city of Bolton, but they've stopped by. Oh, they have a ginger goalie. This is going to be a very difficult task indeed. It's hard to beat a ginger goalie. Um, anyway, we're taking on Bolton today. It's, we're away from home, as you can see. They have the gigantic Reebok Stadium. We are, have a significant disadvantage. Bolton, recently a Premier League team, and just hasn't had great, uh, great ownership of late. But, um, you know, for a little team like AFC Wimbledon, uh, we're going to do our best. But this is one of those games that you, you got to say we're not expected to win. We are, however, starting Isaac's success. He does nothing but win. And uh, Adebayalak and Fenway. And then in goal, of course, we have Shea LaBeouf. Uh, so you'll never guess who stopped by the uh, uh, South London a couple days ago. Uh, it was Ball John Green. Uh, he was there. With, he brought little JJ uh, over at the end of practice. Um, for those of you who don't closely follow the Wimbly Womblies, we used to have a star uh, strike partnership duo, Ball John Green and other John Green, um, and they loved each other, and they loved AFC Wimbledon, and everything was magical. What a great series of passes! Oh, you can't... That ginger goalkeeper! He's trouble. I believe that was the golden child, too, Meredith. I would have gotten to sing a hymn. Um, and yeah, so uh, anyway, Ball John Green stopped by, which was so nice. It was re it was great to see him. Instead now, of, instead of having this amazing uh, strike duo, we have uh, no Ball John Green because he left uh, for Germany, although he is now playing in England. More on that in a moment. And... Um, and other John Green is now mostly playing a midfield role where it must be said he is uh, ineffective. Uh, he's an aged lad. Uh, I think that's part of the issue. He's now 33 years old. I think part of the issue is that uh, coming out of the TARDIS in this particular incarnation, his FIFA 16 incarnation, Ball John Green was a little tall and orange-headed and uh, Ronald McDonald-y, and he's never quite had the balance by the way, I, I hate playing half in the shadows. It's terrible, just like in real life. Why is FIFA now so good that it's unfun in all the ways that actual soccer is unfun? Anyway, oh, oh, Akin Fenwa is a finisher. Oh, that ginger goalkeeper. Dang balls. Um, right, what were we talking about? Right, so Ball John Green stopped by uh, with JJ, which John Green and John Green's son. And it was great. It was great to see JJ, and it was also great to see Ball John Green. He's doing really well. Unfortunately, he now plays that freaking goalkeeper. Unfortunately, he now plays for, I guess that was a defender. He, he now plays for a Premier League club. Uh, he missed, um, it was very, it's difficult. It's difficult being in a long distance relationship. And that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, Ball John Green and I were talking about that a little bit. It is very hard to be in a long distance relationship, especially a long distance marriage. Um, especially when there are children involved. And I told, I was talking about how I've actually done this before, not to, uh, you know, obviously not to the degree that um, the John Greens were doing it, but I, I have, oh, oh, God, that was a terrible shot by other John Green. Um, I have done it in the sense that I spent three months um, away on movie sets um, twice, once when The Fault in Our Stars was made and once when Paper Towns was made. And uh, I came home, you know, usually once a, once a week for a couple days, but most of the time I was gone. And uh, Sarah was raising uh, the kids without me. I missed a lot of Alice's um, infancy. Um, I left for the Fault in Our Stars when she was about 12 weeks old. And then I missed another, like, three-month period when she was, uh, like, one and a half and Henry was uh, about, about four and a half or just, just, just around before he turned five. Um... And it was really, it was really hard, and that's what we were talking about. Like, it's just, uh, it is possible, um, you know, and you, you do what you have to do for your career. One of the things that you don't really think about when you're getting married is the fact that you're you're really going to like share a life together, uh, which means not just like in all the romantic sweet ways. It also means you're going to be like kind of co-CEOs of a family unit and that you're going to be co-CEOs of like a family business. The golden child! So, look, nope, nope, nope. De premature excitement. The golden child is celebrating. However, he did not score the goal. The goal, that's a nice assist, it must be said, from other John Green using his head wisely. And then it's a nice, relaxed finish from the wild shot. I wouldn't even say that was a wild shot. I would say that that was a relaxed, chill shot. I believe that was wild shot, though. 
Oh, man. Wild thing. Bum, 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 bum. You make my heart sing. That's what they sing. I'm not very, I can't really sing that song. But that's what they sing when he scores. Um, so, you, you, you know, like when you have to do these things to make, a, make, make your family life work, you do it. Uh, but it is really hard. And so what happened with Ball John Green and other John Green is that Ball John Green spent this one season in Germany where he was very successful in the Bundesliga. He had more than 20 goals uh, in his first season. Um, uh, but then he took a huge pay cut because he just felt like he couldn't do it anymore and, uh, and ended up um, back in uh, England where he is now playing uh, for a club in London that shall, shall remain nameless because I cannot bring myself to say its name. Uh, and I mean, look, like, uh, you know, the point I was making to him was like, I can't believe you play for such a crap club with no history. And like, you go from AFC Wimbledon to playing for like the, you know, the franchisiest uh, club in England, not currently playing in Milton Keynes. And uh, but Ball John Green was like, look, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is this is heart for you. You know, this is this is something that you love. And for me, you know, it's a business. And that's true. I never thought of it that way, really. But, you know, for for him, it's his professional life. And you do what you have to do uh, to take care of your family, to have the best professional life that you can. You, you have to balance all of these various commitments. And I don't think there's any one right way to do that. You know, I, I have friends who um, I have friends who have like long term, long distance marriages. Like we have a we have a friend whose whose wife works in Los Angeles and uh, he is a, a builder here in Indianapolis, and you know she comes home most weekends, and that's their marriage, and that works for them. Um, I think it's really important. It, it, it's so tempting; it, it's almost impossible to resist the urge to judge other people's lives and to uh, to see other people's lives in the context of yours. But of course, like oh cra oh, it went wide. Thank God, they don't exist in the context of yours. People's people's lives are theirs; they belong. Uh, they belong to them, and, and you can't try to, uh, to sort of crowd your value system into theirs or whatever. But it is a big part of the reason, in the same way that, you know, Ball John Green made the call to uh, kind of take, uh, take a pay cut. Oh, off the post. Um, take a pay cut to go to, uh, back, cut to come back to England so he could live in London with other John Green and JJ. You know, it's a big part of the reason why I um, kind of took a, took a step away from public life a little bit after the uh, Paper Towns movie came out I just I really missed my family and one of the things I learned I think in that whole process is that uh, the thing that um, those those movies and those experiences and like having this like weird minute in the center of a, a, a pop culture where I couldn't even make a Wimbly Wombly's video without worrying about the things that I, I I said maybe ending up in like a, a, a newspaper or a magazine, um, th th those were really good times in my life, and I'm really glad that I had them because if I hadn't had them, for one thing, I would spend the rest of my life like wondering what that stuff feels like. Um, but it was not a experience that I needed to like repeat over and over again in order to live like a like a happy life. Um, in the end, in the end, like I wanted to come home to Indianapolis. Um, and have have my my life here with my family because that's where like that's where I derive meaning and fulfillment and also um, a, le a little bit of uh, I mean I, I there are all these things that 16 year old me would absolutely hate about current me and sometimes I feel like embarrassed to even say them out loud but uh, but I, what I was gonna say is contentment because I do um, uh, like, I guess I, I, you know, like, I guess, I guess the, the rational thing to do after, um, after what happened would, was to try to like keep the train going so that I could, uh, you know, like maximize, oh, oh, it has to be, but what, excuse me, what happened? Oh, you called offsides 46 minutes after the pass. I mean, I was a little bit offside, but I only a little bit and you can't call it that late. Meredith. You've got to remind me to make the substitutions. You only have one job as assistant manager. I mean, aside from actually making the videos. Um, we got to bring in Jago Jago. Uh, we're going to bring out Wild Shot. And, and we're going to bring on uh, Bali. I mean, how great is it that his name is Bali? And what he does for a living is kick a Bali. It's just amazing. Uh, they're making one substitution. 
like a bunch of cowards. We're making three substitutions all at once, just like the pros do it. Let's just let, take take your time. Walk off, wild shot. It was a beautiful goal. Who knew your first name was Yannick? It's fantastic. I couldn't even come up with a better first name for you if I wanted to. Frankenstein also had himself a great game marauding up the right wing as he likes to do. And, of course, there's the, uh, the handsome, the beautiful uh, Golden Child 2.0. Jago Jago coming on. Uh, selectively mute Jago Jago. He's an absolute delight to be around because I find that um, I almost prefer people who don't talk. It, it leaves a little more space for me, uh, the most important person in the room. Um, yeah, so I think uh, in the end, uh, Ball John Green and I made the same decision, which was that, uh, you know, uh, the, the glories of a, uh, of a public life and of maybe getting to win the Champions League and all that stuff, uh, that wasn't as important as home. And so uh, he's come on home, which is great. We're really enjoying having him back in the locker room. Uh, I asked him if he wanted to come play for the Wembley Wombleys. I said we could sure use him up front. Um, we're really struggling with goals. We almost gave up a goal there. And uh, he said, uh, the club that I'm currently at pays me $240,000 a week. And I said, are you kidding? And he said, no. And that was the end of the conversation. So I don't think that we're going to be um, acquiring him because we don't have the $240,000 a week. Oh, almost a fantastic goal. Almost, but not. So it, it was like it... You know, it's kind of worthless in the end. I got a question. Why do we have John Green doing our set pieces when he is our biggest player? Like our tallest player? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how to fix that either. Like that's um, so it's a known bug in FIFA that you can't pick who takes your corner kicks. Um, yeah. So I'm interested to know what you guys think about uh, long distance marriages. And in the end, if uh, if your professional life is more important or your personal life is more important, of course, it's not as simple as making like like a narrow calculus like that. Like there's tons and tons of factors that go into these things. And uh, like every decision in a human life is extremely complicated. But uh, but I do think uh, I do think, you know, I do think that we have to everybody in their life has to make choices like that. Um, you know, I only live in Indianapolis because I was a trailing spouse because we made a professional decision uh, on, on Sarah's behalf as a family. So for Sarah to get a job here. So uh, life is weird. It takes you to strange places. Sometimes you score against ginger goalkeepers and win one nil away at Bolton. Congratulations to the Wimbly Wombly's. Thank you for watching and uh, best wishes.